If you defend a corrupt system where corporate lobbyists write the rules to squeeze out competition and hurt economic growth and undercut workers, you're not a capitalist, you're just a cheater. In a blunt force speech at St. Anselm College, Elizabeth Warren laid out plans to re-regulate the economy from breaking up big companies and changing corporate governance to raising wages and empowering labor unions. The American people have done everything they can to keep up. They've got more education, they've taken on extra work, they've made careful decisions with their money. But tens of millions of people are barely treading water. Warren is facing a similar sink or swim fate in New Hampshire, and alongside her attempts to curb corruption, she's also taking on fellow candidates like Pete Buttigieg, who she contends is too cozy with wealthy donors. And he offers them regular phone calls and special access. When a candidate brags about how beholden he feels to a group of wealthy investors, our democracy is in serious trouble. While Warren is grappling with a downturn in the polls, former New Hampshire House Speaker Terry Norelli, who has not made an endorsement in this race yet, says the strength of the Warren campaign's ground game cannot be overlooked. I think she's got one of the, if not the best organized campaigns, certainly one of the best organized campaigns. And tonight, the Buttigieg campaign is responding to Warren saying, quote, Senator Warren's idea of how to defeat Donald Trump is to tell people who don't support her that they are unwelcome in the fight and that those who disagree with her belong in the other party. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.